So, I think that we have all heard of pi. It is the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter, and is essential to modern day mathematics. But many people have never heard of the history of pi. The oldest written approximation of pi was found on a clay tablet and was created by the Babylonians. Archaeologists date this clay tablet to be from around 1900 to 1600 BCE. This tablet stated that pi was equal to about 25 over 8 or 3.125, which isn't too bad for the Bronze Age. The Babylonian calculation remained the most accurate calculation of pi until the 300s BCE, when some Indian guy with a name I could not pronounce wrote a Hindu scripture that said that pi was actually 339 over 108, or 3.139. Then, some unimportant Greek guy named Archimedes came along. One day, he woke up and decided that he wanted to torture himself, so he created the method of exhaustion to find pi. He drew a polygon inside a circle with each corner of the polygon touching the circle, and then he drew another polygon outside of the circle with each side touching the circle. Using 296 guns with this method, in 250 BCE, he calculated that pi was equal to around 22 over 7, or 3.143. After the introduction of the method of exhaustion, calculations for pi increased with accuracy as mathematicians from China, India, Persia, France, Flanders, Germany, Netherlands, and Austria took turns breaking records for the most digits of pi calculated. By 1630 CE, Austrian astronomer Christoph Greenberger, oh wait, no, sorry, Greenberger, had used polygons with 10 to the 40th power sides to calculate pi all the way up to the 38th digit. While that was quite accurate, it took forever, and James Gregory and Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz found it boring, so they decided to steal infinite sequences from the Indians so that they could calculate pi easier, faster, and eventually more accurately. François Viet decided to use these infinite sequences to find pi in 1593, and in 1699, using the discovery of calculus by Sir Isaac Newton, Abraham Sharp calculated the first 71 digits of pi, smashing the previous record. Once again, the mathematicians decided that they had nothing better to do, so they used infinite sequences for calculating pi for the next few hundred years. In 1946, Daniel Ferguson calculated the first 620 digits of pi, the most accurate calculation for pi ever made without a calculating device. Speaking of which, Calculating devices and computers have allowed us to calculate pi to pinpoint accuracy. Currently, the most accurate measurement of pi ever recorded was carried out by the University of Applied Sciences in Switzerland, with a calculation in August 2021 giving them the first 62.8 billion digits of pi. And there you have it. That's how a bunch of guys with no lives took thousands of years to find an unreasonably accurate calculation of pi. I think I'll just stick with Archimedes estimate of 22 over 7 because I value my sanity, but I guess I can't say the same for everyone.